Hello and welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Point. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our beloved series of land playthrough legendary difficulty Phoenix Point. Babylon is under attack and we want to fight against an attacking strength of 18. Ugh. Want is a strong word in that regard. It uh, could also mean we must fight against them. But uh, be it as it may, we have actually no option other than to fight. I would love to have this instead of this. Although the purification grenade really, really rocks. So maybe that's the right way to do it. Yeah, I think that's a good option. Um, a good loadout in terms of pistols uh, let's Asian cow let's maybe remove this pistol and instead do a bit more of this it's not shooting very well but it's an option to to capture specimen alive. Kyle has that as well. Incy Vinci. Can take so many things, holy. We even have a grenade launcher left over. Hmm. That would be fun, but we already have uh, the Fury 2. So, Neuralizer, I think that's the right answer. Um, having that med kit ready for whenever it's needed. It's a good idea as well. Let's just double check, by the way. 24 points. Mind sense. Oh yeah, why not? We're waiting for ignore pain with Asian cow. Not enough to meaningful do anything here. Although get up willpower would not be bad, but close quarter. I like a lot of uh, these. Um, abilities. I think though, and for now, a bit more willpower couldn't hurt. 25 points, inspire, great ability. Are we killing that many things here? Not sure. Heavy weapon proficiency with the accuracy, however, that actually would be a good option. Because now, Incy Vinci is more perceptive and can, well, less perceptive, but can hit better. Uh, this here is no longer needed. Set give you some of that. And onslaught. Great. 24 points, we're close to vanish or weak spot. Both are good. Quick aim is good as well, but I think we're going for weak spot. And I am just thinking maybe the pistol is not the right thing. Maybe we will instead take a Neuralizer. Not bad either. OK, 
Okay. So. As I was saying. Pistol here doesn't make that much sense. Instead, let's take that. And that and that. And we're much better off. Take some extra ammunition here. Yes, please. And do we have a neuralizer left over? I mean, we don't need to give them to every, every, everyone, but it helps to uh, to have the option to get all of uh, the aliens captured. Here we go. Good, we landed. And we, it apparently, it seems to me as if we landed in the middle of a big pile of poo poo. We got an assault there. And we got an assault over here. Couple of civilians and Where's this? Yep, we landed uh, right in the middle of a not so nice situation. And you wonder, how could that have happened? Wasn't Phoenix Point paying attention? We got shotguns and before we do anything, I believe it's quite obvious that we will need to go in and make sure that everyone here, one, two, three, four, five, okay, that's good. What's that Skriller? Oh, no, 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 no. He has the day's snout. <coughs> So far, so good. War cry. Still alive. I can make a difference. I'm here. Insights. <laughs> lots of hits but we're okay so far Shooting back, you stupid little something. Got you covered. Let's hope that this here will deter the Triton to attack someone else. <laughs> Ready. 
Moving in. Oh boy. Yeah, we gotta work on that Here flank as well. Already there. Dash up. And let's tentacle attack. Yeah, we're going to Let's work, uh, work that do. guy until he finally goes down. Uh, those two are a bit more problematic. solve all of the issues at once though I'm here How about we're placing a few spiders over here Distraction. We're reloading. And this you could be a good bait. Civilian moves over here, mainly to bait whatever is happening there. Double checking. Uh, I think we can do that. Operative on the move. Moves to here. Asian cows close. Gets more actions. I can make a difference. On the and Asian cow goes back. Cool. So, relatively speaking, these two are under control. The Skrilla is a big problem, and seeing that there is even a tyrant champion behind, that's nasty. the best place for the turret would look like potentially up here to be honest We're quite far away so might as well place it this turn and next turn we can start to benefit from it all right end of turn Sucks being the civilian, 
But he at least took one for the team. Duplicate actually worked out really well. <laughs> Civilian. Uh... Rushes over here. Bleeds incredibly intense. got him down I'm here moving up one two okay that means he's out for good for a very long time in further our assault over here nice one shots and I think we're just staying over here for now Most important part is to remove actions. Um, and then. It begs the question uh, what do we do here with the explosive? That solves the problem with the Mindfragger. Once and for all. So, what do we want to do first? I mean, we could make the guy flee. I think wanting uh, to capture it might be a bit too ambitious. Removing all of its armor on the abdomen.
Okay, well, we do have one action left over. Don't want to go to clo uh, don't want to get too close. Operative on the move. Full cover is the name of the game here. Again, we're not clustering up too much. But I think it's helpful to put more pressure on him. Good equipment, heavily damaged. I think that's a good start. Now without equipment, the guy looks much, much, much less problematic. Uh, we're just going in here and we'll get that guy next. Can't wait. Arthrons are the name, I think. No. Nope. Eyes peeled. Yes. No. Nope. Eyes peeled. Yes. Yeah. Tell you what. Ready to engage. Skill on target. He's almost disabled. Work. Might as well. There we go. Good. Playing it safe. And since there is no disadvantage in just doing that, might as well also completely disable him. Cool. So far, I would say overall a successful turn. Well, not too bad, at least, at least it was not a soldier. I don't want to go for the missed characters. We're actually starting to deal damage now. Three hundred and twenty. How much would the, this be? Hundred twenty to forty. No, it would be more efficient to go with the turret. Shoot it completely out of ammunition. It's a lot of damage, by the way. We don't want to lose the civilian, so let's just go. That's the more efficient uh, utilization of a turn, and those grenades are not that expensive. And Sivensi moves over. I want to hit all three with my shout. All four actually. I'm repositioning. No, oh no, oh no. Wrong weapon. Yeah. Well, let's not talk about that anymore or in that regard ever again.
so good. This guy single-handedly got that whole <coughs> artillery down. Switching ammo. Wow. I'm getting there. I'm impressed. Oh, Enemy have to still focus. active. I'm impressed. I mean, we just captured a <coughs> Chinran Sparagus. And he did that all by himself. Good, another civilian. Take this guy out, okay. Target hit. Very good. He's now paralyzed and we're overwatching in this direction. Cool. End of turn. My turn. have a war stream here that's unfortunate engaging yes already there Pretty sure he will just run out now. <laughs> or maybe not, may I mean, <clears throat> there is still the chance that we can completely kill him, which I think since this is in Africa, it might mean that the colony here, the Pandoran colony, will be weakened and we're fighting against the spawnery instead of a Skrilla inside of the colony. Not sure if that is automatically the better, um, the better choice, but I like the idea of actually setting ourselves up for success by killing him. Get everybody excited.
Well, can't mind control them. Um. Good, that was it. Overall, very, very successful. We captured way more enemies than I would have thought. And we weren't really in trouble. I think at the in the the end game is similar to XCOM. It just once you get the hang of it, the enemies are not really getting that much stronger. Doesn't matter if they have 4,000 or 4,200 hit points, uh, the bigger ones, because you're getting more and more actions anyways, and 200 hit points really don't uh, change the dial too much. What I notice is that once you have understood which weapons to use, for instance, in this case, the paralyzation weapons, and you consequently use them, it works quite well. Cool, we got a second structure. But that one. That one we're not attacking yet. We're moving back to base. However, got a little something. Containment facility is almost overflowing. We got some mutagens for us. The little fireworms from the South Pole, I remember them. Well, still 150 mutagens from them, so not bad. Iron, is there any capture an acid worm? Uh, still need to capture something with a psionic influence. Wow. That last mission looks incredible. Incredibly successful. <laughs> 1200 mutagens. Nice, very nice. Okay, let's just go through them. These guys are all fully mutated. Done. Uh, Team Beta was already long time ago fully mutated. Uh, the exception is Kitsu, who is still, I think, waiting for her second class. Okay, done. These are the Gamma team, so they are mutated as well. <clears throat> Manticore 4, if I'm not mistaken, these are the Epsilon team. Where is Manticore 4? <coughs> Ex apologies, excuse me. Um, yeah, they are the Epsilon team and we wanted to upgrade them, so we had these guys here. Benji body armor, well, not really. I think speed would be helpful. Okay, and here we come with the actual soldiers that have not been mutated yet. So, there's going to be an assault. And we can either make him hit better or be substantially more agile. The forest speed isn't too bad. I actually like it. 
and oftentimes the legs are not being hit. He will be a bit worse off with uh, accuracy. And Stompalinks uh, give plus 5 strength as well. I think I'll just stay with the Stompalinks uh, and... And use the soldier for what he's supposed to do, shooting in mid-range. Okay. Cool, here we do have a Berserker. Well, that might be a bit different because here we are looking at melee. I like the idea of immunity to dazed. So we're going with that. And then potentially a bit more. Well, hmm. If we want to go into melee, we could actually quicken up. We already have adrenaline rush. We don't have a second class. Could use that, but mainly what we need is hit points. So yeah, we have massively underinvested in hit points, which means let's just use the regeneration torso and call it a day. We'll get speed from our Berserker legs, and that is fine. Cool. Tierma 2 is, I think, fully mutated. Manico 1 and 3 is uh, the Gamma team. This here is the Delta team. Mutated, 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 and mutated. Good. Mandicore 8. Those are the other soldiers that haven't been mutated uh, yet. And both of, um, both of them are belonging to the Epsilon team. So that's the second Manticore. I wish I could name these stupid planes. Good, yeah. So Manticore 8, as I was saying. That is the protection team as well. Barbour has some nice armor. I tell you what, we don't really need to mutate anything. Let's just keep him as a non-mutated soldier. There you go. Needs some more strength um, as and when he gets more points. Assault rifles and shotguns. Yeah, I think I look totally okay um, as a soldier. Do we need a shotgun? No, I think instead we're going to do a little bit of that and that, and we're fine. Good. Polina, on the other hand, definitely could use some mutation. She is a berserk, so. Mutate that, and I'll give her a quick, uh, 
quicker legs. Make her a melee berserker. appropriate to me which means we still have mutagens left over that we can use in order to help others the newcomers mutagens essentially save us money that's how I see it it sucks for the soldiers because I wouldn't want to splice my DNA with alien DNA but you get the point For 12 looks good. Research complete. Good, we finally. Congratulations on capturing a live specimen of such a fearsome predator. It can't have been easy, and I admire your dedication to understanding the enemy. Some of my people think killing the Pandorans is enough. Well, great. At least we now know more about Skrillus. Good, moving back to the base. Let's speed this up a tiny bit. All right, Helios 5. Personal from Helios 5, couple of things. First of all, you guys belong here and not uh, with uh, the Prime team. Secondly, um, JP, as well as Inappropriate Murphy, definitely need their upgrades. So what I will do is JP, you're staying here until you're level 7. Done. And in the meantime... We're flying over and are trading a little bit. Good, it seems we have traded all of the urban havens empty. Good, same for Helios. Um, five here. I think we, by the way, uh, he, uh, Helios 5, I think we shouldn't underestimate. Yeah, we'll, we'll trade one and uh, then bring them back. We shouldn't underestimate that uh, the soldiers need time to rest. Good, we're here in time. Just in time. As the next chapter happens, Pen uh, Phoenix Point will be attacked. And by the way, the Prime Team is definitely needed over here. We have plenty of missions for them to do.
could also activate this base, which we might want to do. It will repel all of the mist and gives us an extra mission. Okay, point that I was trying to make here is Helios 5, go to Helios 6, and Ian uh, goes into Born in the USA. And now inappropriate Murphy gets big fat experience here. We're going to only let you back on board when you have leveled up. Good, that's good. And that is even better. We're basically flying around, trading. Manticore 3 is fully rested. Let's double check who that was. Manticore 3. Oh yeah. We're still waiting for the attack on Phoenix Point. Why isn't that happening? Wait, what? Why isn't that happening? Is it because we killed the guy? Hmm. That is strange. Research complete. Okay, I'll just wait an hour or two more. New aircraft available. Uh, where did we want to put that? I think back into Born in the USA. Good. It almost seems like the attack here had been called off. So I have to wonder, is it time to launch a, con a counter attack? Troops are certainly ready. Good, so let's double check. Tiamat 9 does not have anyone on board yet, but we could change that. Tiamat 9. Yes. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And eight. They're not going to fly out of uh, Born in the USA. They will just hover here for now. Good. We're regen uh, regenerating with them. Those two are on a mission. Really not doing much here, fortunately.
Good. All of them are currently re uh, regenerating. Tiamat 2. So we can just <clears throat> leave them there. In terms of bases, which of the bases, uh, bases are better? This here is one medical bay. Living quarter, yeah, that's living quarter, two living quarters and one medical bay. That is definitely the better choice here. Activate that base, yes, please. And we will, we will need to fly there and basically clear out the base. Once uh, the stamina is full, we'll just do a quick flyby and back. Can we do it with six people? Maybe. Would it be more experienced to actually fly there? Do it. Potentially equivalent, equivalent amount. So yeah, after that we'll fly back and then we'll grab whatever is up there. Good. Like I said, this becomes more and more of an economic simulation. trying to hit all havens continue to like trade everywhere just to keep up the resources the one aspect that i don't understand though is i'm defending all of the havens right and we're pushing the mist back and so on why are there still people dying or is it just inevitable to lose? No, there must be, there must be some way to quote unquote win that game, not only quote unquote, to actually win this game. really bad we're not going to trade under these conditions okay uh four for six yes please two for twelve yes please quite there yet now we're there and it is yet again a Skrilla apparently uh, that thing didn't die so we will need to kill it and 
make everybody happy again. So after flying through here, Manticore 4, these guys are all level 7. I could actually like travel around with them. There's no point for them to sit in a base. Oh, they left two people in Mist Haven. Level six and level five. Okay. Well, they slowly, surely, slowly get XP. How fast is the XP for Murphy? Hmm, not bad. I mean, he's almost leveled up. That is more. Then we could then that could have been said uh, before. But then could have been said before. Hmm. Maybe. Nah. Well, we could wait just a tiny bit until they are both leveled up. Uh, they should level any second, and then fly over. Well, we might as well just fly over and uh, get the SP as well. Uh, the skill points Yeah, we're going to do that next we're freeing up uh, this area liberated and as soon as an appropriate Murphy is finally uh, maximum level We can also go back to here because this is where most of the action is currently happening I have to wonder, I mean, we do have like one Tiamat team here at the moment. Great, that works well. One Tiamat team here, one Tiamat team here. That's enough to uh, co uh, cover all of that. That's uh, the better team here, the, um, the uh, Foxtrot team here, the what is this team down here? Should give them better names. Team at seven, that is the Delta team. Okay, so the team number four down there. So those three would cover all of it. I'm actually quite content with team number five co uh, covering most of this here. Just kind of keeping maintenance uh, at the moment. Nothing too disturbing yeah and this team here will do uh, will conquer that side and then hopefully fly over there are one two three missions actually that they can do quite a few difficult ones as well so that's good and it's the last antediluvian ruin i think that is on the radar certainly haven't found anything down here my research with all of the islands has just turned out to be a waste of time as expected nothing came out of this And it makes sense, I think, uh, three of each material and then three production facilities, pretty much as much as you can find, I guess. Um, so the idea really would be Prime Team needs to, uh, needs to level up further. Good. If you want to level up further as well, the next episode will be the 100th episode, so um, help the channel to level up and click that like button. Thanks a lot and see you soon, guys. Bye-bye.